December 2020, the last full month in office for Donald Trump, inflation was 1.4%. The average for the whole year with Trump was 1.2%. Biden drove it up to a 40-year high. He lies and says, we took over a problem. We've been working on it. He created a problem because the first thing that he did was, and you guys know this story, they killed our energy independence. They killed the XL pipeline, 10,000 jobs and all the energy, froze student debt collection with a $800 billion bailout for the, for the kids that went to college, nothing for the kids that couldn't afford to go to college, but wish they could have. He rejoined the Paris Climate Accords, which again, killed industry in the United States, then opened up pathways for illegals to gain citizenship, opened up the borders for millions to come in on the government dole, halted construction of a border wall, and that was all day one. That was on the first day. Those were all executive acts, like the devil went into the Oval Office. So for the first six months in office, inflation went from 1.4 to 5.4. I don't want to overwhelm you with numbers. Let me just tell you. When he says inflation's gone down under our watch, they drove it up to 9%, almost double digit by June. It's fallen down to 6.5%. Now get this again, Trump 1.2, Biden 6.5, and he's taking credit for driving down inflation only because he drove it up to the critical point where we almost had a seizure. 